Hi guys, here we are at Harmony Hill Nursery. Uh, you can see some of our hives in the back of the picture there by the big tree. This is a commercial plant nursery. Uh, lots of different native species here. We can use it to govern the soil temperatures, the moisture, basically what the bees are foraging on. And it's a reciprocal relationship because the plants get better pollination for it. Uh, it's a good indicating yard for us to gauge on uh, the food that the bees consume and also what's about to flower. So winter's been quite warm this season. So with that, the bees are still very active and consuming lots of resources. So the first thing that we do is when we come to hives is we check to see how much activity is in the front of the hive. So here you can see some bees on the landing board out the front of the hive. Uh, we look for the amount of basically bee poop on the side of the boxes. So that defecation can tell us the, how much pollen the bees are consuming. Um, and we can check for piles of bees at the front of the hive to see if, they, if there's dead outs or if they're cleaning their hives out. So on warm days through winter, we can actually check inside the hive. So we can take the hive top feeder off, the queen excluder, the inner cover, we actually have insulation on the hive, so this keeps the top of the hive warm and, and stops condensation build up inside the hive. Uh, we have a moisture board that absorbs the moisture from the condensation. And then we can check on the bees. So here we still actually have treatment strips for viruses. What we can do now is actually top up the bees with some uh, dry granular sugar. Uh, that way we're not introducing more moisture to the hives and the bees can just basically consume the sugar, right? So. So to feed the bees some supplement uh, with sugar, we can basically get a sheet of newspaper inside this feeding shim, put it on top of the hive, and then pour sugar on top. So once the sugar's poured out, we just level off so the covers can go back on and seal off the hive. We tuck in the newspaper and then the bees can come up, chew through the newspaper and eat the white sugar. So, White sugar is a form of sucrose, which is the type of sugar, and the bees actually consume sucrose when they go and forage for nectar. So the bees have enzymes in their first stomach known as their honey crop, and they, uh, with the enzyme vertase, they convert that to fructose and glucose, and that determines the sweetness of the honey. So we'll do that to the hive that's next door as well, and we'll just continue doing that through the hundreds of hives that we have.